Is eBay dead? Is it? Is it dead? I don't think eBay's dead. I'm going to show you some numbers of a very disappointing week. I'm going to show you what sold. But first, I'm going to be dead if I don't get this cleaned up. So one thing I do is I have friends and family that save boxes for me because boxes are expensive. Shipping supplies are expensive. So it does take extra work to use re uh, recycled or used boxes, you know, peeling labels off and whatever, barcodes and all that stuff. But it's worth it in the long run. But when I get a bunch of boxes in at the same time, it's a lot of a mess. Look at this. I just, we come in, I chuck them down the stairs um, and then I clean it all up. So there's boxes all over the place and there's paper, all the paper that we was used when friends moved and I brought home. I mean, so what a mess, huh? So I need to get this cleaned up and then I'm going to show you the things that sold. I'm going to talk a little bit about eBay and why it's so slow or why I think it's so slow and, and we're going to get some stuff shipped out today. Okay, I got things cleaned up now. This may not look clean to some people. Now, let me explain a few things. So I basically stack everything up, right? I stack some over here. How long did it take me to do this? Uh, I'll show you. Right here, I was listening to Rat Out of the Cellar. It took me through Wanted Man, You're in Trouble, and round and round I was 3 minutes and 54 seconds into it, if you can see that. So that's how long it took me to clean, <laughs> to clean my mess up. So it may look like a mess and I stack all these boxes. That may look stupid, but. Hello? All right, that phone call was my mom. She just watched the last video from last night and the pickup sticks. She said she had these when she was a kid. She wants to buy these. So I grabbed them for her. So Donna didn't do anything with them. By the way, Donna is feeling better today. She's still not up for videoing, but she is feeling better. She's outside brushing, uh, brushing, dusting the uh, figures that we got yesterday. So she is up and moving around, doing a little better, but not up for this quite yet. So that's good news. Um, so yes, you're stuck with me again. My apologies, but she will be back soon. Back to my setup. So yes, it's a mess, but when I have all these boxes and I got when I get a lot in at once, especially, I pull from these first. I use these way before I use any of my own boxes. You know, I got boxes stashed. So these won't last that long. Now, unless eBay is dead, then they'll last longer. But I will go through these pretty quick. These two messy bins that are always up here, these are always random pieces of, you know, shipping like single sheets of bubbles, air pads, stuff like that. And so I pull from these all the time. So it's just uh, gonna be a mess anyway. But yeah, so here's all my paper. I got it all flattened out, stacked up here. It's not pretty. It's more boxes, more padding, but. Do I get a little bit of reseller envy when I watch a seller and they buy all their boxes and they're all neatly stacked and have organized and everything. Yeah, it's nice. And that would be fun. That would be nice. But at the same time, this saves me tons of money. And I really appreciate my friends and family that do this for me because yes, like I said, it's a lot, it's more work, but it's worth it just to save the money and to do something with these boxes. Cause a lot of people just throw them away anyway. So might as well get another use out of them. Let's, let's, uh, I have a, I have a few orders already pulled. I'm going to show you those and then I'll talk about eBay being dead and then I'll show you the rest of the orders. Over here I have two sets of books and I'm going to open these anyway, so let me pull them out. Okay, um, we have three Mary Poppins books. These are pretty old, honestly. Let's see if we can get a date off of here. 1935, that says this one. Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins. And then these are Nancy Drew, Nancy Drew books. And these are from, this book says 1930 here. So 30s books, somebody bought, these were two different lots on eBay and somebody bought both lots for about a total of $65 plus shipping. So Donna just listed these. That's why they're out here because they were in the box in the garage and they sold already. So $65 plus shipping to the same buyer, they're going out. 
Okay, next up, I'm going to pop up pictures for these because there's no way the camera is going to focus on these. Um, if you follow us, you saw the storage unit and we had the old money. There was two pieces of old money that we put on eBay. Thought their value was there to try to get a little more. Um, and first of all was this dime. It is a 1894 Barber dime and so it got $20.50 for that. And then next was a this 1923 piece dollar. It was in a video on the cover actually. Um, it's in a pendant. We threw this on eBay and it sold for $29.99. And so that is going out the door. So that's $50 more towards the old money. So that old money from that storage unit brought us just a little over $750. And we paid $55 for the storage unit. So that's awesome. So in the video where we went to the state sale finds, we bought three cameras for a dollar each. Well, two of them did not work. That was very disappointing, but the best one did work. And these make no sense to me. Like, I don't, can anybody explain this to me? Because this is a Canon Sure Shot 85 Zoom. These are 35 millimeter film cameras. They're nothing super fancy or anything, but you know what? There's 34 to 40, something like 30 some listed used. And there's 400, I think, sold or 200 or something. There's hundreds sold. And I'm like, what the heck? I got $99.99 for this camera. So that's awesome. So with what we've sold on the dollar auction from that, we spent $139 at that uh, stay sale. And with this and what we've already sold in the dollar auction, we're well into the profit in that sale. So that's awesome. So that sold within one day. With, with that sell-through rate, you would expect that to happen. Uh, the other things I have to pull, so we're going to do that. But first, I'm going to talk about eBay. eBay's not dead. eBay, we have a lot of good things on eBay, you know, and it's not all good. Some of it's crap, some of it's average, whatever. But we have a lot of good things on eBay. But it still blows my mind that the algorithm is definitely real. Because even with a lot of good things, if you stop listing for a while, yes, you still get sales. We still got sales. But it slows down, like, dramatically. And with all of the things that we have had going on, with our kid moving home, with uh, all these things, um, we have been neglecting eBay quite a bit, and it definitely shows. I'm going to show you some pictures of this chart. We don't do financials on this channel. Um, we don't go everything, but I am going to show you. This is the last like five or six days on our graph of what we sold, and as you can see, this is including shipping too. So if somebody pays $10 or something and $5 shipping, this $15 shows up. This is with shipping, with sales tax, with everything is how they do this. So I'm gonna show you what it's been like the last five days. So this graph here, you see Wednesday, January 31st, $96.61. But after $96 and it's 87, then this $71.63, that was for Friday. And then Saturday, we had a really good day, $337.16. So that's awesome when we thought, okay, eBay's back. And then on Sunday, it's $60.20 yesterday. We may have a little dip like this here and there, but it's not normal. So do I think eBay's dead? No, I think we have to list more, obviously. We've talked about it in the past. Everybody, all the resellers know it, but there definitely is an algorithm because there is a lot of good stuff on there. And if it was just based off of what you have, the good stuff would still keep, things would keep selling. But if you're not active and if you're not listing and you're not, you know, we don't do the, we don't do the end item and then sell similar. We've done that in the past, but we just haven't done that for a long time. Uh, we don't do any of that stuff. Should we? Probably, maybe it would help, but we just need to list more. And you know, obviously with those incense burners we got last week and these figures and these old action figures, uh, we have a lot to list. And so we're hoping this week to get a really good listing weekend uh, because next week, and I think we have an estate sale clean out. And then next week, like Monday, we leave and we go to St. Louis for a couple of days for my daughter's birthday. She's going to a concert in St. Louis. And so we're taking her and a friend up there. But yeah eBay has been very slow for us, but the sales that we do get, we do appreciate, and it's still awesome. We're going to keep chugging along. We're just going to start listing again, get things up, and then things will sell. We're not worried about that. So is eBay dead? eBay's dead if you kill it. You know, there's the videos about, oh, they won't do feedback. They won't remove feedback anymore. If you're a reseller, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know that that's necessarily true because I've heard instances of them people getting feedback removed recently. Um, and there's videos of they had a thousand layoffs and so now it's going to kill eBay. I don't think that's true either. And we don't, we don't buy into all the drama stories and 
Oh, this happened. And oh, postage rates increased. Yes, postage rates increased. Postage rates increased for everybody everywhere. So we just keep listing because we're going to keep selling. things. People are going to still buy things. Um, just sometimes are worse than others. But how to get those numbers up? List more items. List more good quality items. And we feel like we have a lot of them. A lot of unique things to put on. So we're going to do that. Hey, I want to also take a moment to shout out April. She is a person here in Lincoln that we know and she buys from us locally but she also will reach out she'll look through our ebay store every now and then and she'll be like hey i'd really like these items and so i pull them off ebay and she buys them so we really appreciate that so thank you april all right let's finish up here let's see what else we got all right in the video game drawer dang it i put these boxes here and i thought do i have any media going out no i don't well i do in the video game drawer we have a 16 dollar sale for a video game and luckily it's right on top here it is this twisted metal game um, that sold for $16 plus shipping next up we got a picture Donna pointed out the other day when we sold another picture Donna grabbed this picture and she's like look isn't this cool well somebody bought it there's a beautiful little picture here that sold for $36.99 how do I ship pictures with glass like this what I do is I take painter's tape, the blue tape, painter's tape, because it don't leave residue, it don't stick real well, but I diagonal, I put a diagonal across here, put a couple more pieces here, that way if something does happen to the glass, and it were to crack or break or shatter, like if it cracks, like it will keep it all together, it won't just make a mess, but it also, they say it helps to protect it, um, so I do that, and then I just bubble wrap it really well. Next up, I already grabbed here a pair of jeans, $17.99, uh, I don't like, clothes are not fun for videos, but I love selling clothes because you can get some good money for clothes and they're super, super easy to ship and get out of here. So that's going out for $17.99. Next up in box 20, I'll pull this down. We have a piece of Tupper, we have a piece of Tupperware in here. I believe it is this right here. as a Tupperware bakeware with a lid microwave thing that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Grabbing boxes that are hard to get to is hard with the camera. It's like the next one was way back in the corner. I grabbed it. This is a little puppy. Little stuffed puppy. A tie. I suppose that's like a beanie baby. A larger beanie baby or whatever. But that little puppy sold for $13.19. It's got a year in here. I don't see a year but his name or her name is Muffin. So Muffin is going out the door. Next up is in box 25 over here again. Oh wow, I didn't put away the last box. I'm gonna make a mess here. Oh, this box is about empty. We'll start filling it again. Right here. This is an amber refrigerator dish. It says this lid here. I can get to the lid. Oh, the lid has, like, you see the corn? I don't know if you can see that. The corn. Was that asparagus on the right? I don't know. And, like, fruits there? Is that a tomato? I'm not sure. Carrots? Tomato, maybe? Yeah, celery. Carrots, tomato. Yeah, all that stuff. So that goes on there. So that's a cool dish, and that sold for $25. I better put my boxes away. Just want to look at it. I left this box without the lid. Man. Man, I am a mess today. And I got one pair of shoes for the last thing. A pair of rock ports here, back in the shoe thing. And these sold for $21, $21 I think. Yeah, $21 here for those rock ports. Um, so that's it. That's, that's everything going out today. Not a huge day, but that's our own fault ebay I, I can blame ebay a little bit but it's our own fault for not listing more but we have like i said a lot of good things to list so we're gonna try to get a big day of listing and big week of listing honestly so anyway that's it for today i'm gonna get this stuff packed up and get out of here and we will see you on the next video thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing we really appreciate all of you it's been a lot of fun especially since the channel kind of got you know since the first of the year it's been a lot of fun to watch it kind of grow here so we appreciate all of you that watch we really do thank you for watching i'm steve donna is still down she'll be back really soon see you on the next one peace
Okay, friends, you get to hear me but not see me because I'm still <laughs> not feeling the best. Yeah, we have to test things, make sure they work, right? I'm scared to death, but I'm gonna hit my ball and hopefully not hit it off the toe and put it through my door window. I'm gonna shut the door. I ain't the swinging door. very hard. I'm gonna shut the door. Might be better if you don't. You can all, you can all rate my swing of a old heavy dude. It sucks at golf. Where do I go so you don't hit me? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, do it again. That's cool. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> you, you tried to kill me. <laughs> I was trying to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> You tried to kill me. I'm sorry. You hit me right in the head. I did not mean to. <laughs> Just go off the mat here. You be my ball caddy person. That's cool. Do you need to keep it? No, I don't need to keep it. I would definitely break something somewhere. Yeah, I hit the ground. I'm nervous. Yeah, you're not getting under it. Well, I'm not teeing it up either. Okay. Alright, now we're teed up. I'm really tall, so I gotta stand way back here. Uh-oh. Alright, blame the tee. Blame the equipment. Okay. It could be operator error. It could be. All right. Here we go. Okay, do it again. I'm going to get close up. I... <laughs> How do I get close up? Just get closer. I'm not getting closer to that. I can zoom it. Oh, are you trying to do the... The ball. Okay, yeah, for my own safety, I must go in now. All right, one more. <laughs> this is awesome. <sighs> oh, oh, come back here. Okay. All right. Kobe, my golf partner, is like, Donna, don't stand there. And Donna's like, how could he possibly hit me? You better not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's do another. I want to just take a big heavy swing, like full swing all the way through, but I don't think I'm too nervous. 